89.3 and 88.5 Yes FM. Online at www.yeshome.com. Now on the free Yes FM iTunes app and the Yes FM Android app or the free tune in radio app. Search Yes FM Lima. It is time for us to delve into the Word of God on the morning munch as we do every day at this time. And joining us in studio, back in with us, Pastor Steve, Steve Judson from Church of the Cross. Pastor, welcome back. Thank you. It's good to have you here with us this morning, sharing the Word of God, and I'm going to turn things over to you and let you share what God's laid on your heart this morning. All right, super. Thank you, Tommy. Hey, uh, when I was in here on Monday morning at the station, I shared a little bit about uh, that peace that is so great that that we are able to experience through our relationship with God uh, that is hard to put into words, but but it really feels awesome in our lives um, when we actually experience it, especially in the midst of the challenges and storms that we face uh, in our lives. Matter of fact, I shared from Philippians chapter 4, 6, and 7, two verses. Don't be anxious about anything, but in everything, with prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God, and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Well, this morning I want to share an instance where we see that kind of peace in Jesus, in the midst of the storm. As a matter of fact, uh, it was literally in the midst of a storm. <clears throat> Many of you may be familiar with this uh, account Account from the life of Jesus. Uh, it's uh, located several places in the Gospels, uh, but I'm going to read from Matthew chapter 8 and verses 23 to, through 27. Here's what it says. Then Jesus got into the boat and his disciples followed him. Without warning, a furious storm came up on the lake so that the waves swept over the boat, but Jesus was sleeping. The disciples went and woke him saying, Lord, save us. We're going to drown. And he replied, oh, you of little faith, why are you so afraid? And then he got up and rebuked the winds and the waves, and it was completely calm. And the men were amazed, and actually in the other locations in the Gospels where it has this account of Jesus, it says they were afraid, and they asked, what kind of man is this that even the winds and the waves obey him? What kind of man, what kind of person is this that even the winds and the waves obey him? Well, I'll tell you what kind of man he was. He is the kind that was so filled or is so filled with the peace of God that he can sleep like a baby in the back of a relatively small boat while the surf is washing over the side and the boat is almost being swept under by the waves. That's the kind of person he is. You talk about a sound sleeper. Tommy, I can be laying in a perfectly calm, still room with earplugs on uh, in a comfortable bed, and I can't sleep like this. And here's Jesus relaxed and calm sleeping in the back of, of, this, of this boat. And it gives us this incredible picture, not only of this literal storm, but of the storms, the challenges, the struggles that we face in our lives, and the kind of peace that we can experience through Christ, that we can sleep like a baby. We can, uh, there is a way through Christ that when we lay down at night, when we sit down to relax, in the midst of lots of things that may be bouncing around in our minds, that we can experience uh, that kind of peace. In fact, uh, I'm sharing this weekend, beginning a series of messages kind of on this topic, and the name of the message this weekend is the peace that we long for. And, and I'll tell you, when I think of my own life, with all the things going on, uh, when, you know, with family and work and uh, uh, sometimes health issues or other things, personal stuff, it's hard to experience that peace. Uh, and and we, are, we are given this incredible example by Jesus uh, and, and, and that we see through him and, and really are, is, a, is, is available in our own lives as Christians to have the kind of peace that we can, whether figuratively or literally, sleep like a baby, relax, be calm, filled with that peace, no matter what is going on around in our lives. And I, I, if that's you this morning, I, I pray that you would just uh, reach out, that you would seek that, almost in the same way maybe that we receive our salvation, that we say, yes, God, by faith I accept this into my life, I trust you to lead and to guide, that we do that in the midst of the challenges and the struggles and the issues that we face, that we turn them over to him. And, and, and I believe that we have this picture in Scripture that we can experience that kind of peace and calm in our own lives no matter what's going on around us. And, you know, that's, that's kind of my theme this week, and I'll be sharing a little bit different aspects of that. Um, but I think that's something that we all struggle with, even people who look good on the outside and seem to be strong. There's stuff going on in their lives 
uh, and God wants to make available to them through their relationship with Jesus that kind of peace. That's a good word for us, Pastor. Can you pray for our listeners? Absolutely. Dear God, dear Heavenly Father, um, I just thank you for the peace, that peace that we shared about the other morning that passes all understanding, that's so great. <clears throat> God, we can't possibly put it into words, but it feels incredible in our lives. And, and today we, we see this incredible picture of Jesus and that kind of peace in his life in the midst of a literal storm which gives us great hope and confidence for the peace that we have through Jesus in the figurative storms, in the various ways that we experience challenge and struggle in our lives. God, I pray for the listeners this morning, particularly those who may be struggling, may be dealing with that uh, chaos in their lives or those uh, issues or situations, that you would fill them with that inner peace through your son, Jesus Christ, that they may experience uh, that just incredible calm and rest Uh, on the inside, no matter what the circumstances are in their lives on the outside. God, I pray your blessing in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Pastor Steve Judson in with us from Church of the Cross. Pastor, tell us about Church of the Cross. Yeah, I shared uh, the other morning that uh, there's lots of things happening, lots of change that we are implementing a new Sunday morning worship schedule uh, this uh, Sunday morning. Um, at 8 a.m., uh, we're kind of naming our services, the chapel, which is kind of a more intimate and a, a really neat experience, uh, a, a pretty traditional with hymns and formal prayer time and Bible-based message. And, uh, and then uh, a 9.30 service, the gathering is kind of a blended service with some starts off with kind of an upbeat contemporary feel. Uh, but then it also has a, a kind of a prayer time, formal prayer time, a choir often sings and Bible-based message. It closes with a hymn. And then our new service, it's 11-11. We're just calling 11-11 at the cross. We have a, a new sign. It's got a big cross out front, and so it's easy to identify us when you get to us. Uh, and we're calling that 11-11 at the cross, and that's pretty much contemporary, upbeat, modern music, um, Bible-based message, absolutely. Uh, and uh, we think that's uh, going to have a pretty strong appeal as well to those who may like a little bit uh, less traditional and more, uh, more modern feel. Excellent. If folks want to find out more information... Yeah, we are located on the internet at www.cotcumc.com, uh, and also our, our, our f- phone number is 382-6722. Let me also mention real quick that we also have a food pantry seeking to meet the physical needs of our community. That food pantry is open from 10 to 12 on Tuesday mornings and from 5 to 7 on Thursday evenings. You can call the church, find out more about that as well. And uh, we also have a community breakfast, full hot breakfast, that we run from 9 to 11, 11 on uh, Sunday mornings. And I want to add one more thing, if I can take 10 seconds. All right, go ahead. Uh, we have uh, uh, one of the things that kind of a, almost, a, you might call a part-time position, working with our children and giving some leadership to our nursery ministry. And if that sounds like something that's interesting to you, that's all Sunday morning, also some other times, opportunities as well during the week that is a paid position. Uh, and we'll just be looking for some references and be able to run a background check. Excellent. Hey, Pastor, thanks so much for being in this morning. (laughs) Thanks so much for the time. Yes, FM.